So hello to all my cherry bombs. It is me, Cherry, and I'm back with a little something different. So today I'm going to be reacting to a story time that I actually have not yet uploaded because I was going back and I was re-watching things and I just realized there were some things that I wanted to add or didn't say or like just little points that I feel like I missed. So I am going to watch this with you all and then periodically comment on my own story. Just so that you all can understand this story a little bit better. And yeah, so if you all are new to my channel, which I'm so hyped because I can actually even do this now because <laughs> I've been a camera. You know, I've been really hyped about this camera. And when I also recorded this, my camera had run out of memory space and I think I either had to get like a new memory card or maybe it overheated, whatever. But I wasn't able to record the whole thing on my camera. So I'm reacting to a video that I made on my phone and yeah so if you guys are new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button please give this video a thumbs up if you all can relate because i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate and it would help more people find my channel and also turn on your post notifications because i am sporadic as fuck and if you don't have them on you will miss me okay so let's get it you guys we're gonna watch this together and I'm gonna tell you guys and I'm actually gonna give you guys some updates as to things that have happened since I even made the first video, okay? Let's get it. So let me just cover my bases before we get into this ratchetry. You guys, I know that when you come on my channel, I have a little bit of everything and I know that, you know, oftentimes I'm speaking from a very educated and well-spoken perspective, but I'm also still human. I make mistakes too, I get mad, and um, sometimes I just damn, sometimes I just get motherfucking ignorant, okay? And this was one of them times, okay? So just know that, you know, sometimes when you're on my channel, you're gonna hear some educated um, responses to some things that are going on in the media and in the world and all the other stuff, but then sometimes we just gotta get a little ignorant, and I'm gonna tell you about my real life, and this is one of them times that we just gonna get downright ignorant, okay? Not ignorant, we getting ignorant in this story time, okay? Because I'm just about to tell you about my life. And I also, and I know you guys, I have now been doing like literally like three or four minutes of disclaimers, but I just really gotta cover all my bases before we get into this. I do wanna say, as I always say, when I tell these type of stories, you guys, I do not be on here trying to promote violence. I'm not a violent person. I am actually like, I get along with everybody I'm chill as hell and that is why I know that the times that I actually do get mad to this extent they be warranted because I do not be out here trying to fight I'm not on that type of time I'm very just like I'm a lover not a fighter it really takes a lot and really that's always my absolute last resort is to take it there I'm just telling this story because it's my life so let's get right into this you guys i feel like we all have experienced or a lot of people have experienced it's not really uncommon to run into a specific type of female okay some of these bitches are weird as fuck as fuck so before we continue i do want to say because i left it out when i was doing this video y'all i don't know if y'all ever saw that viral twitter story where and this was years ago where the girl was talking about she had done this girl's makeup and then found out that the girl had booked with her or something like that because the girl was fucking her boyfriend so in this scenario it wasn't like a this was not a client that i've had ever come to my home this was a girl that two years prior to this situation I had done her makeup for a fashion show at the club that I used to work at. She worked nightlife at the time. I mean, she still works nightlife, but she worked at this club that at the time, I was surprised that she worked at because they never hired no black people. So I remember having this specific conversation with this girl. We did not keep in contact after that day. We weren't friends or anything like that. But this was a girl that after then, we would, me and Danny would go into her job sometimes and she would give us drinks, she would take care of us. Back then, they had not been doing anything. Like, she was literally just a friend back then, nothing was going on. But, whoever would have thought that two years later, she would start to develop more than friendly feelings for him, and they would start actually fucking around. Which makes me feel like she probably had her eyes on him the whole entire time, but it wasn't until two, late, two years later that they actually started messing with each other. How ironic that 
I one of my clients turned into a girl who was messing with my man what the f literally like I just thought back to that Twitter story and I was like wow this can't be my life <laughs> and one thing about me okay I do not believe in fighting over men that is not something you will catch me doing okay it doesn't happen no nada but there are times where I feel like the disrespect is throw them hands worthy. It's one thing when things happen and girls don't be knowing or whatever, okay? That's your man's fault, you know, go after him, whatever. But there be other instances where girls are weird, they mad weird, and they do be knowing. And granted, I know that, you know, some people might wanna pass judgment on this video because I have had a side chick story. And when I was the side chick, there was a lot more to mine. If y'all want to go watch that, I will link that in the one down below. And um, I do understand that I've played this other position as well, too. But I just wasn't like, I wasn't proud of the position I was playing, if that makes sense, you guys. Like, I was not proud to be the side chick. I was very apologetic when it all came out. I felt really bad that I was hurting another female that was causing her that type of pain. And... I just like would have never got on, got to talking to that female and found myself trying to be cocky about the position I was playing because there is nothing to be proud of about being the side chick. It's just like, why would you be proud of that? Not only that, but both times that I was the side chick to that same exact person, neither time did I know that they were involved with somebody when I entered that situation. I would never enter a situation willingly where you're already so deeply invested in somebody else that I am entering into a situation as the side chick. Like, I just, why would you purposely do that to yourself? Let me tell you about this instance, okay, you guys? I found out some news that I did not want to find out before I left for the islands to go dance, okay? So what I found out essentially was that the man that I've been dealing with for the last five years had been dealing with somebody else and upon finding out some of this stuff I had confronted the female involved with this information I called her and we had a discussion and during this discussion Lil Baby was cocky, okay? Lil Baby was saying, oh, I'm gonna be with your man. Um, me and him are gonna be together. Um, she was like, oh yeah, well, we been doing this and we been doing that. Like, she was just real like, I'm gonna take your man, sis. Like, and I'm looking like, mm -hmm. <laughs> why are you proud, sis? You're, you're weird. And so, of course, I confronted said nigga about what was said and me and him had a very in-depth conversation about everything that was going on how everything started what was transpiring and what needed to be what were the next steps to either cut ties um go our separate ways or fix the situation okay so you know again I know people are gonna be passing judgment. Oh, it da 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 da. You shouldn't want to fix shit. Da, 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 da. I am not asking for advice by telling this story. I'm just telling a story, okay? So we had this talk or whatever. This girl takes it upon herself and her crimson motherfucking chin to pull up. To the apartment okay and and i know people are gonna go through the whole oh like how did she even know where the apartment was i'll tell y'all when i tell y'all okay, okay so the way that i'm saying that makes it sound like on the same day she pulled up so no so what happened was we had this conversation okay so we had this conversation before i left for the islands she took it upon herself and i'm gonna get to that part here but i'm gonna say this here as well she took it upon herself to tell me she goes well i came in your bed and so did he so when all that was said i had asked her i said so do you want my address or are you going to send me yours 
and she's popping shit and I'm like baby we don't have nothing else to talk about if you're not sending no address like I, I don't have nothing else to say to you address or no like address 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 so that was before I left for the islands so when she pulled up that was a separate day from the day that I'm currently talking about okay so let's get back to this so she pulls up to the apartment y'all mind y'all we have been arguing this morning that she pulled up she pulls up like nine something in the morning she banging on the door she banging on the door and I'm in the room with said dude and so I get up because I already know what time it is okay so I have this scarf that I just when it's about to go down whether it's I have a bandana for it I have a scarf for it I just have a certain scarf for when I need to tie them edges up and I'm just I'm doing my little thing so I'm doing that and he's like no like da, 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 da. like I don't want y'all fighting I don't want y'all fighting like just chill out just chill out just stay in here and I'm like no baby want to pull up to the apartment like what's up Miley what's good so really back really back really back because before y'all be like oh that's you know you still shouldn't have wanted to no 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 let me tell y'all skirt 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 let me tell y'all so before I went to the islands okay I had told this girl I was like so you know when I was still trying to figure out like everything that had happened or whatever I'm like so you knew that he was still with me we literally lived together the girl had previously been in the crib when we had this conversation i had said to the girl i was like so you knew B baby you see all my stuff here like you not about to tell me oh i didn't know i didn't know I didn't know that y'all were still together. I didn't know y'all were having sex. I didn't know that y'all were like a thing. Baby, we lived together in a one bedroom. What you thought we was doing? I know you aren't, If unless you working off one brain cell alone, unless you just plumb stupid, you motherfucking knew. No, you know you still doing it. You disrespectful as fuck. You deserve the hands at this point. But still, still, that alone would not have been enough for me to want to give this girl the hands because at the end of the day, it is the guy's fault too for entertaining, for putting you in that position. You know, I know that. I'm not stupid. I know that. So that alone was not enough to make me want to throw hands. I It, it kind of was, but I was still like, mm, be the bigger person. You're getting older. You know, don't be on this little rah-rah shit. What sealed the deal for me wanting to throw hands with this girl was that in the messages when we were talking, she takes it upon herself to say, she said something along the lines of, yeah, I came in your bed and he did too. Y'all, she said this before I left for the islands, okay? I was in the islands for a week. And I'm be honest. I'm be so honest. Because again, like I told y'all, I'm human, okay? I'm human. This is ignorant. That sealed her fate. That I was going to beat the brakes off this bitch. Period. It sealed it. As soon as I read that disrespectful ass motherfucking message, I said, I'm gonna whoop this hoe, period. It's over for it. I decided right then and there. And throughout our islands trip, I just, I'm the type where like, when I get mad at stuff, and this is why it's so hard to make me mad because I'll get mad over something, but I won't stay mad. Like I, don't normally stay mad over something. I just be getting over shit. So, but this, I kept replaying that message in my head. And every time I replayed the message, it gave me the fuel I needed. And it just reconfirmed that I was gonna beat this bitch ass. Every time. She would have all this energy, but as soon as I would be like, okay, so drop an address or I'll drop mine. Like, tell, tell me how you want it. All of a sudden, where's the fuel sis like the fuel was just gone anytime i've been in an altercation i have not started the altercation but this time this time oh i was gunning for it now i know we re rewind it so now we're back to 
the day that this all went down. She comes to the apartment. She knocking on the door. It's 9 a.m. She knocking on the door, knocking on the door. I'm getting my hair wrapped because I already know what it is. Because at first, he had tried to tell me, because he know I am. He had tried to tell me, oh, it's the police. It's the police. Don't go answer it. Da -da -da. I'm like, mm, now why would the police be here? But then I really thought about it. And the way they was knocking, I was like, nah, this ain't the feds. And by now, the boat is tied. So I'm trying to get out the room. I'm trying to get out of the room so I can go answer the door because I already know who it is. And I want all, all uh, the smoke, okay? All uh, the smoke, okay? So I'm like trying to get out the room, trying to get out the room. He not trying to let me out the room at the fuck off. And so I sent out of bed. I said, okay. And so after a while, he gave up. He goes to answer the door. I go, I follow behind him, y'all. He opened the door, the girl sitting outside. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Da -da 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 -da. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I said, bitch, the fuck y'all got to talk about? So I said, as she looked at me, I don't need to talk to you. I just want to talk to him. I just need to talk to him. Da -da -da. She got her friend behind her. It's this white girl. White girl don't want nothing to do with the situation. I'm like, Lord, you didn't drag this girl here. She don't want nothing to do with this, but she about to catch the smoke too. So, <laughs> baby, it's enough for everybody. She's saying she needs to talk to him. She's saying she needs to talk to him. And <laughs> like, I'm about to let this man step outside and go, no, ma'am, you're disrespectful. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. Because if she would have been respectful, we was both in a situation where we was both being told little different stuff. And I get it. I've been on the other side before. So I wouldn't be one to be hostile towards someone in her position if it was genuinely a, I didn't know, I'm really sorry, oh my God, like da da da. If it would have been like that, I would have no hostility towards this girl. But the way she was coming and the disrespectful shit she was saying and the way she was being cocky about it and the way she was kind of like, it was almost like, on some weird shit, she took pride. And this is what I say, like sometimes when you get into this social media stuff, and that's why I don't like to post like me and mine or none of that, because people will go after your dude just because of who you are. Just because I may, and I'm not even like no big popping YouTuber, I'm really not. Like, but just because I make content, these bitches are weird. They're fucking weird. These bitches are weird. Knowing all of that and just how she was approaching the situation, I was like, baby, it's on site. It's what's up. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. She keep on trying to be like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to talk to him. I'm just trying to talk to him. And he has like, he's in the doorway. I'm behind him. I'm in the apartment. She's outside. I am trying to get outside to this girl. So she, I guess, I don't know how. She pushes herself, I think, I want to say she pushes into the apartment. And when she pushes into the apartment, you have officially crossed enemy lines. So I literally, y'all, I said, do right in that head, boy. Eventually I stopped and it wasn't like, I know that makes it sound like it was a long, it, it was not a long little altercation. It really wasn't. Um, the whole thing was kind of a lengthy altercation, but us actually being physical was not lengthy. I'm getting in the first two, but I'm having to reach over him to do it because he is trying to keep me back and he's trying to keep her like from getting in the apartment. He's trying to get her back out of the apartment and then he's trying to get keep me from being on top of her. So he's in the middle, I'm trying to get over him. At first she was like, oh, I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight, da, da, da. That first one connected and I mean, y'all, when I say solid, baby made contact, okay? It was solid, I heard it. So soon as that one connected, she is livid. And she's like, ha ha ha, I'ma fuck you up, I'ma fuck you up. So now she's trying to get over him. He's like trying to get her back outside. She's trying to like spider monkey over him. And I'm standing there. I'm like, so fuck me up then, sis. I'm right here. Fuck me up then. Other words were said. And I think the other words that were said are... Honestly, I want to say that's why I stopped fighting her. Because in turn, I wanted to hear what the situation was. Because I actually had got... like, It was like in the midst of fighting. I also had a curiosity to like 
why is she, she's so pressed to say something that she needs to say that she didn't show up everything she doing all this da, 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 whatever whatever so i'm like you know what i want to hear it too what's this gotta say so i stopped swinging i stopped swinging i say what does what this gotta say this might be a little interesting she starts confronting him i'm also confronting him so we both confront him whatever whatever boom that's situation number one i see this girl again i see this girl we're at the club and me and him so there's a security guard at the club that i know that i used to work with so i know him i be seeing him all over and so i go to say hey to him i go to say hey to him and oh dude i'm i'm a i think in my story time where i actually told like what happened with this situation i called him danny so i go to say hey to the security guard and danny is standing behind me so I say hey to the security guard, I turn around, and this girl has made it a point. I'ma call her, I'ma call her Crimson. So Crimson is making it across, literally has made it a point to come across the whole club to approach Danny. With me and there. You're like, baby got me so fucked up. We about to have a round two right quick, cause she got me so fucked up. So she comes up. She grabs onto him and she proceeds to try and whisper something in his ear. And I can see him backing up. Like he's backing up back towards me. So I come up, I grab his other arm. Cause again, you guys, these females just really be trying to disrespect you. They be trying to disrespect you on purpose. I grab his arm and I literally say, you can hear it. I say, you better get this bitch before I do. She can hear it too. She turned around to me. Me and me and Danny both turn around. We're not facing her. Neither one of us is facing her. So now me, are, me and him are standing side by side. She's behind us. She pushes through me and him. Like shoves through me and him to go talk to the security guard because she knows him too. Mind you, before she pushed through me and him, when we weren't facing her, right? She grabs my arm. And again, she don't be wanting no smoke. So she grabs my arm and she's not grabbing it in a like, oh, I'm trying to fight you. She's grabbing it and she's saying, I'm calm, I'm calm. And I'm like, don't touch me, like. So she shoves the rest to go talk to security guard. As soon as she pushed me on, I said, boom. And I shoved the fuck out this bitch. Cause at first I was like, you know what? I'm about to start swinging on Shari, fuck it. Fuck it. I guess I'm going to jail tonight. I was like, I'm just about to start swinging. I thought about it. I said, nope, don't swing. She goes flying into security and security catches her. And he looks at me and he's like, cause he knows the both of us. So he looks at me cause me and the girl both work nightlife. He's like, everything okay? I said, no, it's not. Danny at this point is like, all right, let's get out of here. We need to go. Like I'm not trying to I don't want you to go to jail. This is like not a good look. Like, let's get out of here. So we start to leave. But as we start to leave, y'all, at this point, I'm carrying around this scarf, okay? And I'm carrying around this scarf because I had decided in my head, even after the altercation at the house, even after everything was said and done, because she then went and tried to disrespect me again and in public, I had already decided. I was like, you know what? I cracked my nail when I was hitting her the first time. And that's why I had that, why I originally took the nails off. It was hurting, I took the nails off. I was gonna go back and redo a set of nails and I said, you know what, no. These nails aren't going back on until I get my ones. Okay. I didn't even tell the rest of the story, Jesus. Okay, so basically what happened was, so I'm wrapping that scarf around my head as we are walking out of the club. So Danny has said, all right, let's go. This is not about to be good. Let's leave. So as we're walking out of the club, I am tying up my edges because again, y'all, I had a frontal on through this whole thing. We get outside, I'm still tying the scarf. She has now followed us outside, okay? and she is far enough behind us where because security mind you when i pushed her i pushed her into security so he held on to her for a minute so that she wouldn't instantly go and chase after us so we're outside and i hear footsteps way way behind us and she is yelling fuck you danny and i'm just over here dying laughing but i'm over here like like she's way way far behind us so i turn around 
And y'all, we, we're still walking away because at this point, Danny has me and he's just like kind of like guiding me forward so I don't turn around and try and fight the girl, whatever. So we're walking forward and I look back and y'all, I had to look like this, y'all. <laughs> I had to look, I said, and you know we leave or whatever and so the other night we go to the club the last two months again nothing has transpired or happened or anything and i have not seen the girl or anything like that but i've been waiting i know i shouldn't be but i've just been waiting and so we go to the club the other night and the girl is in the in the building i don't see the girl it's me danny it's a group of our friends so me and danny has stepped upstairs right we step upstairs away from the rest of our group because the group is about to come upstairs with us. So we go upstairs first. This girl going to wait till we go upstairs and then make her way over to our group of friends and try and speak to the friends. Ma'am, you could have came over there when I was over there. I'm just going to keep praying that I can get this feeling out of me and I can just let these urges go because they're not doing anything for me and i know it the mature side of me knows that i'm having a immature ass moment a very immature ass moment and i don't condone it i don't but for some reason even though my mind is like no don't do this my hands are just like let's get this work so yeah so long story short, but honestly already long as fuck. I'm really gonna try and be mature about it. I know I'm making jokes, but I'm really gonna try and be mature about it. Um, I know that I'm not one to, I used to be one to hold a grudge eternally forever till I die, we could take this to the grave type shit, but I'm just really not like that anymore. And even though me and this girl will never be cool and I will never respect her, I just don't see myself carrying this much aggression for much longer because I just know that that doesn't that's it's just not beneficial for me that is my story you guys I hope you enjoyed please leave your comments down below if you've ever been through something like this leave that down below don't leave nothing shady I'll return them motherfuckers off okay love you guys please like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one Grinding, I'm getting dope. Yeah. What the fuck you think we in it for? Falling on them like I'm 24. I'm Ain't no way in hell you'll stop this blow. Nah, nah. Got it jumping like Geronimo. Woo. If you hating on this, gotta go. Yeah.